Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the plus to perform the motion capture for your 3D avatar in your Blender 3.0. You already have an avatar in Blender and now I'm going to show you step by step how to just use a camera and MP4 to capture your body motions and apply in any 3D avatar in your Blender 3.0. So start from now. First, I can show you I already have an avatar in Blender. This avatar already become a skeleton mesh. It already have the skeletons, it already have the mesh. And next, the first thing what you are going to do is just go into the plus.ai. You can just scroll down, go to my video description, click into the second link, the plus AI. Right, once you click in already, it it will check in your in it will check in your browser. This is my Google Chrome browser, and then you have to sign in by using your Gmail account or Google account. Once you already sign in, click get started. This is the first step. The next, you can use your webcam or camera to capture your video. Now I have a sample video. You can see this is a sample video. A girl is dancing, it already have a body motion and this is a full body motion. You also can use your camera to just capture an mp4 video. Just capture a video and then save inside your computer. And then in your plus.ai, what you are going to do is just drag in the video. Drag into here and then click confirm. Now it is importing your, your mp4 video and you have to wait for a while this moment. Once it finished uploaded, you can see this is the timeline and in this video you only have 12.7 seconds. You can extract the full motion or you can just select the range. Let's say if I just want to have part of the part of the motion here when I play. Now this is just a few seconds in this part where I want to extract this part only. So I click extract motion the exported motion, you have to name it properly. In this example, I'm going to name this as Dance01. Then I click OK. Now it is extracting the motion and the AI software is performing the body motion capture and it is going to extract it. You have to wait for a while at this moment. After finish performing the motion capture, it will appear at here. You can see Dance01 is here. What you are going to do is drag the Dance01 into mannequin.glb. And then here you can just have, have a preview. You play it and see. Now it really become the 3D animation for this 3D avatar. What you are going to do is just extract this first. Right click export. Export the Dance01 only. And then click export. Now you just wait for a while. It is automatic downloading. After you finish this, this is a Google Chrome browser. Now it is downloading. It automatically will download it. It is here. So just wait for a few seconds until it finish downloaded. So now you still have two seconds. All right, finish downloaded. So you click here and click show in folder. All right, this is my download folder. Again, you click here, show in folder, it automatically pop out. It is here, the mannequin. So this file name, this file I'm going to right click and cut. Cut and paste onto my desktop. And now I can close the plus already. Alright, now I paste it here. And I will name it properly. This is, I will rename it. Click and press F2. Name it dance zero once. This is, this is the FBX file. Next, before you get it into the, into the Blender, you need to open your 3D Exchange server. So you can get this software just by going to my video descriptions. You can just go and get the 3D Exchange pipeline. This is to retarget all, retarget all the motions. And then next, you have to scroll down, go to my video description to download 
to download this plus mocap mannequin.iavatar this is in the format of the iavatar is for your 3d exchange after you download it it will be here this is the plus mocap mannequin.iavatar i drag in into my 3d exchange 7 and then what you are going to do is just drag here scroll down until you can see the motion library then you drag the dance 01 into the motion library and click OK. You have to make sure, all right, I, I do it again. I drag in one of the most important thing is you must select the current character and click OK. Next, you click add all to perform now. Right, then the file name, you have to click again, Control A and select it and everything you delete the file name and name this as dance 01. You have to name it properly, make sure you name it properly. Alright, now you can just preview it here. This is really the 3D animation. And then from your 3D Exchange 7, you have to export it as the iCloud Motion file. You click here. This is to export. And then to make sure you untick export geometry and only tick the export animations. Here you tick export RL motions. Make sure here you choose others and export the motion. Browse as demo, I will browse my desktop. Export it on my desktop. It will export as the dance 01. I click OK. Now you have a look. It is here, dance01.rl motions. This is the icon motion file. And then in your 3D Exchange 7, you can just click File, New to refresh everything, clear everything from here. And this is Control A, you can know that this is the where as this. Next, in your Blender, this is the avatar in your Blender. You are going to export it as FBX first. Here you click File, Export, Export as FBX file. As demo, I will just export it on my desktop and FBX file name is Asian Girl 2 It automatic follow your Blender file name. All right, now I click export the path mode. I choose copy. Here you have to choose select it so that it will automatic export out all the texture embedded all the texture inside your 3D mesh. Now click export FBX file. Export. Now it is already exported as FBX file on the desktop. And then now I temporarily close the blender and I don't save this. All right, I can save it as a backup. Then I close it. This is your 3D avatar. You already performed the 3D modeling in blender and now you save it as your file close. Temporarily close it later, we are going to import to the blender again. Now this is the Asian Girl 0 to FBX file. First you have to drag in into your 3D Exchange 7 and then click OK to import everything. Now at this moment you have to scroll down this site until you can see convert to non-standard. Make sure your avatar is already at the center. And now you are going to, to map the bones. This is the head you can see. I will just head it. I will just map it. Now this is the neck. Then I will map it as fast as possible. This is the hand. The hand is here. Make sure you look at my keyboard and mouse. And learn how to control this software app navigations so now i'm going to map the fingers map it one by one this is a one-time job just to retarget it now you left two fingers and after finish this you left one finger and it is almost done. If this is your first time to do this, maybe 
it will take some time now click here then now you are going to map map the characters the avatar's right hand the right arm the right hand first you map the thumb then map the index finger the middle finger And now after finish the fingers, click here, map the hip bones at here, then the spine, and click here to map another two spine. You can ignore the shoulder the shoulder bones and then map the tights. Map the legs and finally make the map the foot. Done. Once you're done already, click active and then click convert. Now it already become the non-standard avatar for your icons. Next, open your icon 7s. You can get the icon 7 from here. This is my video description. You scroll down and you can check the fifth link get the icon 7 animation pipeline in this software this is a really awesome animation pipeline software from your 3d 3d exchange 7 here you can just export it as the eye avatar you only take export the geometry the asian girl 02 you browse as demo i will browse my desktop export it on my desktop as the non-standard character, the eye avatar. I click OK. Now it is exporting. It will export as an eye avatar. Now you, she already become an eye avatar. Next, open the icon seven. Drag in the eye avatar. The first thing what what we are going to do is just check the texture all this. Of course, you can just ignore it. Now the ice texture, the opacity map is not yet ready. I can just go and check which one is the ice. All right, this one. It only have the base color. I right click here, copy, right click, paste. It will automatic generate the opacity map. And then the hair also the same. I right click, copy, right click, paste. It will generate the opacity map for the hair. At this moment, now you're already in your icon 7. Next, just now you already save the dance 01, the motion capture dance 01 as the RL motions. This is the icon motion file. Drag and drop into this avatar in your icon 7. Now you can just have, have a check. You play, you can see now this avatar is dancing. And we only want this part. All right, you can see now the total frame is, is 1,800. Of course, if your animation is too long, you may just go to the project. The total frames, you can make any number, for example, 3500. 3500, you enter. Then you can see the last frame will be 3500. Three All right, 3,500. Now, we only want to have have this part so we check our timeline and then at this moment you click and it will back to the frame once this is the view you click here to fit to window now you can see that your animation is actually at here then you can set the range set the range this is the range you can see this it will automatic follow you set the range so that it only included this part the animation that you want all right only this part then you can adjust again as long as you satisfied 
So now you only want to have this range next. You are going to have a final export. Export as a Blender FBX format. You click here File, Export, FBX. And then Export as FBX is here. The target tool preset you have so many types of the software. You choose Blender. Choose the Blender. FPS is 30. And then the export range, we only want to have this range. So here we choose a range from frame 1 to frame 185. Then you tick embed the texture. Click export. As demo, I will just export it on my desktop and I will just name this as Asian Girl 01. Sorry, this is Asian Girl 02, the avatar name with dance. Alright, I can just put an underscore or just space dance 01. Dance 01 is the animations, is the animation file, the animation name. Export as FBX file, click save. Now it will save as a new FBX file and where is it now? You can see it is here. The Asian Girl 02 Dance 01 FBX. And then the sorting have the problem, it should according to the date modified so that Right, this one have to sort by the date and then again date modified so that the last file, the last save file will be at the bottom. This is the Asian Girl 02 Dance 01. Right, now you can open your blender. Open your blender and then in your blender, I will just delete all this the camera, the cube, and the light. Because this is just a demo. I click File, Import, Import the FBX from my desktop, the Asian Girl 02 Dance 01. I double click it. Now it is importing the avatar, the 3D avatar together with the animations. Now, of course, I can click here so that I can see all the textures. Now it, it already show all the texture. When you play, you can see now this avatar already have a have the dancing animation that you perform just now. So at the beginning, this animation is just begin from just an MP4 file where you just record by yourself using your camera, and then you use the plus.ai to perform the AI motion capture just by using your video your camera and then you export it out and then the 3D Exchange 7 is just a tool for you to retarget everything and use the Icon 7 as the animation pipeline to make sure you buy the post easily just a few seconds it already buy it here and finally you import into your blender and now you can pre perform the motion that you created just now and it is really easy, it is really awesome, and it is really free to use the plus.ai. This is a, a free body motion capture app. And it is going to capture the body motion for your 3D avatar in your Blender 3.0. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.